Let's talk about the strike zone. The strike zone is one of the most important pieces, especially for a plate umpire. This video will go over what the strike zone is, how it works, and how to make your calls better while you're on the field. Let's give a definition of the strike zone. The strike zone is the location at the front of home plate where if a ball passes through, it will be called a strike unless it is swung on or hit. The strike zone is defined as the width of home plate and the zone between the bottom of the batter's knees and the midway point between his armpit and waist. While that's the legal definition of the strike zone, that's not the strike zone that you will use, especially in in-house recreational games and even lower level travel. Most of the time, you'll need to add a couple inches to both sides of the plate in order to widen up the strike zone and possibly a bit on the top and bottom. A good reference point you can use, depending on the field you're on, is the edge of the batter's boxes. The edges of the batter's boxes are often offset from home plate by just a few inches. You can use those to mark the edges of the strike zone mentally. It's important to address that at younger level recreational games and even lower level travel games, kids will not be able to throw as hard as they will at upper levels, so the ball will have a significant amount of arc on it. It's important to know that the strike zone is at the front of the plate, so you may have times where the ball bounces or lands before the catcher catches it while still being in the strike zone. This is important because at older levels it's helpful to use the catcher as a frame of reference for the strike zone, but at younger levels this can make your strike zone extremely inaccurate and difficult for younger players to hit with accuracy. This is also important at upper levels when breaking balls are introduced. Breaking balls may start outside of the strike zone and may be caught outside of the strike zone by the catcher, but it doesn't matter so long as they end up through the strike zone at the front of the plate. This is the most important part of calling balls and strikes, and a key question, where is the ball when it crosses the front of home plate? One of the most difficult places for the umpire to see while in the slot position is the bottom outside corner. Make sure that you are moved up on the catcher and that your head is not too low, so that you can see the entire strike zone and make good calls. Another way to improve your accuracy is to improve your timing. The impulse is to always make calls too quickly. Always count to one or two after the ball has hit the catcher's mitt so that you can let the pitch register in your mind and make better calls. Hopefully this video is helpful for you to create a framework to call balls and strikes and eliminating confusion that can happen behind the plate.